visual effects a lot of people think it's hard to make and actually it's hard to make it really expensive but there are easy ways you can go about it or just needed a skill so today i'm gonna show you guys how i made these shots um you know lately i've been having a kink for the 3d billboard stuff 3d anamorphic lens so yeah let's get right into this video um so first i took my video into after effects and set a ground plane then i also added my plane the ground plane was to you know since i'll be moving it to blender so yeah, you need to set a ground plane so that when it brings your footage into blender it won't have issues so this was where i was bringing the footage into blender because of the of the ground plane that i set at first in after effect everything was just in the middle so i started blocking out the shape of my scene i matched it to the to the face of the billboard after that i extruded it on the side and added a material and made it made the outside parts and 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 old out so i will explain that in another video where you can understand more so i brought in this pepsi with the blender kit add-on if you have the blender kit add-on i'm sure you will know about that so i added so my first attempt was to make it a particle simulation but the particle wasn't giving me the result i wanted like as you can see here it was falling down uh my my, my initial plan was to just make everything fall down and just burst open bursts and falls of uh, like stuff like that but the particles wasn't giving me the initial effect that i want so i had to like manually duplicate everything then i brought in an add-on called um physics dropper you might like to check it so this was the effect i got from the add-on called physics dropper so yeah but the first effect i got i didn't like it so much so i had to duplicate my object again and place it one by one into the the, the billboard stuff so i duplicated it and i had to select individual objects to apply a physics dropper to it so then with the physics dropper i was able to get the satisfied result i wanted so I added my HDRI over here and now I'm just trying to blend it into the scene and I really love the effect I got from here I was so happy so yeah I also bought this sweater with blender kit add-on so the reason I brought all this stuff because making this stuff is, is gonna take me so long time to finish this video so I just have to you know use I just have to utilize objects from blender kit so over here I was animating all the stuff individually like the big bigger Pepsi. I wanted the effect to when all the stuff blow out then a bigger a bigger can of Pepsi would show. Then I had to like animate it and add add multiple keyframes in the middle of the objects to show when it should show and when it shouldn't show. I also brought in this sneakers, yeah. So here I just testing out the render to see how it was good i also went to add a motion blur yeah the motion blur you give it some realistic look because in real life when objects blow out or maybe in a video stuff like that there is always a motion blur in real life videos so i just started to try to implement it i was also trying to block this nimbus.com stuff here so i just had to extrude um and a, a plane and just add add my my instagram and it. so please follow me on instagram okay yeah <laughs> all right so yeah i went into the compositing tab to add add a color balance node mm, but anyways it didn't really do much but i was still satisfied missing so yeah i was just testing out multiple stuff to see how the outcome would go so yeah so initially i wanted to like take my footage to after effects to composites but after effects wasn't giving me the result i want so that's why i came to blender and do all my composition inside of blender so as you can see i was satisfied my scene so yeah 
I really appreciate you watching this video and I hope to see you in my next video. Please do like and subscribe. See you next time. Have a good day.